You know, my belief is that the hockey stick is the most important piece of equipment to a player. When you have the right piece of equipment in your hands, you're going to play better, and it changes your confidence, it changes the way you play out there, not just the way you shoot, but the way that you are on the ice and how aggressive you can be. It's like a paintbrush to an artist. It's the most important thing you can possibly have in your hands out there. So in the early days, sticks were made of multi-laminate wood. The blades were primarily white ash coated with a glass covering, and that glass was able to be heated up and molded. And so a lot of players would take a blowtorch to their blades and be able to shape them the way that they wanted. You look at slow motion of composite sticks now, once they're flexed, they respond extremely quickly. That just generates more shot velocity, makes players shoot harder, and makes it more difficult for goalies. Really, when we start designing a product, we think about what problems do we have to solve. We'll start with general brainstorming there. From there, we'll create some designs, create some iterations. Once the design is finished, the process here to actually produce a stick has been the same as it's been since 2000. Our composite materials are laid out, cut, and customized for each particular product or pattern. It starts with bringing in rolls of material, which are then cut into kits. And these kits range everywhere from shaft kits to blade kits, and they're very specific all the way down down to the types of construction and pattern that we we're going to build. And from there, they're brought over to the wrapping area, and we create all of the preforms for the blades and the shafts. The blades use a foam core material, which the composite is wrapped around, and then that's placed into the mold. For our shafts, the composite material is wrapped around a metal mandrel, which creates very consistent walls. We use an oven process to cure the shafts, and then once they're extruded, everything's put together with the shaft and the blade. We also have a process where the blade and shaft are molded together at the same time for a true one-piece construction. And then to finish the stick, each decal is specifically laid out with a laser to make sure that we're very consistent in terms of the placement. And then the sticks have a nameplate placed on them as the last step, and then they're boxed up and shipped off to that player. It's just sometimes incredible to think about how many players we've serviced through this factory, through this company, you know, some of the greatest names that have ever played the game. Just when you think that we've reached that pinnacle where there's no more major gains, one of the engineers will come up with something new. And I think we haven't even come close to, to what's next. I think for me, one of the best moments was when I walked into the Hall of Fame. I saw some of the products that we make here. When you see that, you know what an impact on the history of the game that we have. And I know that one of the sticks that we're making as we speak may end up in the hall. So we treat that very seriously and we understand the impact that we have on this game and, and we're very fortunate to have that.